Well, saints, it's preaching time now. If you please get your Bible in your hand, and we're going to open up our Bibles to Daniel chapter 8, Daniel chapter 8, and you'll find me in verses 23 to verse 27, pretty much where you left off, amen? Daniel, praise God, Daniel chapter 8, if you please stand with your Bible in your hand, and we can stand for the president, and stand for dignitaries, and stand up to get, to be in the number, when the saints go marching in, we need to stand up for God this morning, amen. amen. Daniel chapter 8, I'm going to read verses 23 to verse 27 in your hearing, amen. All right, here we go, Daniel chapter 8, verses 23. And in the latter time of their kingdom, when the transgressors are come to the full, a king of fierce continence and understanding dark senses shall stand up. And his power shall be mighty, but not by his own power. And he shall destroy wonderfully and shall prosper and practice and shall destroy the mighty and the holy people. Wow. Meant something. And through his policies, you're going to have policies, also shall cause craft to prosper in his hand. And he shall magnify himself in his heart. He magnifying himself. Y'all see that? And by peace shall destroy many. He shall also stand up against the prince of princes. Come on now. We're talking about God now. But he shall be broken without a hand. All right, all right, all right. Did y'all see that? Yeah, see that, baby? Uh -huh. Broken without a hand. Watch this. Uh -huh. And the vision of the evening and the morning, which was told, is true. It's true. Wherefore, shut up the vision for it shall be for many days. That means it's going to come to pass after a while. Watch this. And I, Daniel, fainted and was sick. He was sick. Certain days afterwards, I rose up and did the king's business as usual. And I was astonished at the vision, but none understood it. None understood. Let us hold our Bibles in the air. We can have what the Word says. We can have. We can do what the Bible says. We can do. And we can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. In Jesus' name, amen, amen, and amen. Amen. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord as I pray and go to our Heavenly Father. Dear Lord, Heavenly Father, we thank you and praise you, glorify and magnify you for what you're about to do today. We ask you to touch your holy word, God. Speak to your people, God. If anything happens good today, we know solely because it's of your grace and your mercy and for you wanting to let your people know what the Spirit has to say to the church. So as I repent for anything I've said or done, I ask you to touch and move now, God, according to your will. Open up our minds that we may understand the wonders out of your law and teach and guide us in Jesus' name. And everybody said amen. amen. That's not everybody. Amen. 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 And amen. Come on, let's give God a hand clap. You know, Mother Virginia, when I was growing up as a little boy, one of my favorite shows on TV that I used to watch every day, and it was in black and white, was Superman. And Superman was supposed to be faster than a speeding bullet, more powerful than a locomotive, can I get a witness, able to leap tall buildings with a single bound. And they say, look up in the air. Look up in the sky. There's a bird. There's a plane. It's Superman. Over 40 billion people have lived on this earth since Adam and Eve were created in the Garden of Eden. Over 40 billion people. 
And since that time, the world we live in has experienced many talented and intelligent and powerful people. Can I get a witness? Can I get a witness? But none ever lived can match the man, the Antichrist. The Antichrist. See, he will be powerful. He'll be deceitful. He'll be intelligent. He'll be brutal. He'll be ruthless. And let me tell you something, he's going to be efficient. He would literally be the pinnacle and the top of man's achievement here on earth, and he will absolutely positively be Satan's superman. Verse 23 begins to let us know at the end times that there will be a time that this fierce king who will stand up, nobody knows who he is, but there are signs here today that he might possibly just be here. Luke chapter 17, verse 26 and 27 said that they will be eating and drinking. Come on, and they're eating and drinking today. Can I get a witness? Amen. Marrying, being given and taken in marriage. That's exactly what's going on today. When Noah entered to the ark and the flood came and destroyed them. Saints, they are, listen, married and getting married, giving and taking, party, have a good time. Listen, party, 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 good time, good time, good time. But I'm here to tell you, saints, the flood is on the way. Somebody say amen. 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse 1 to 5 says, Men would be lovers of themselves. And I've never seen a time where men are so much lovers of themselves. They love the money. They love the boast. They love the brag. They dripping. Look what I got. Look who I am. Look at the chains. Look at the gold. Facebook is nothing but a menagerie of people that are showing off. Proud blasphemers disobedient to their parents. Ladies and gentlemen, I introduce to you the times that we're living in are the times of 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse 1 to 5, because you know, like I know, there was a time that these children would never say the things to parents that they say, I couldn't say it to my mama, you didn't say it to your mama, but you got your kids and grandkids talking to you, and you know good and well, she done slapped the lips off their face. Say, we're living in those times, Pastor. People are unthankful. No matter what you do, Ben. People won't even say thank you no more, Mother Annie. Come on now. Like you're supposed to do all these things, Janice. You got to realize something. People ain't even thankful no more. They unholy. Want to sleep with your husband. Want to sleep with each other. Want to sleep with animals and everything. I've never seen people so unholy in my life. Unloving. Men with two, three wives. And all this kind of stuff on TV. I ain't never in my life thought I'd ever see anything like this. Unloving. Huh? Beat you down. Take your pocketbook. Stomp on you. Uh -huh. Slanderers. Beat, listen, slandering all behind each other, turning behind people back. Uh -huh. Don't have no self-control. Outside would have your butt hanging out. Come on here, somebody. Is anybody listening to the words that are coming out of my mouth? Samantha, they downright brutal. And everybody jogging, everybody jogging, everybody jogging. Everywhere I go, people jogging, half naked. They ain't jogging. They just trying to give somebody a freak show. Can I get a witness? Ain't all them people just a jogging. They want the world to see them jiggling. Come on now. Come on, Squirrel, you know I ain't lying. That one out there jogging, just a jog. Everything bouncing, stuff going all over the damn place. <laughs> Who in the world you see jogging like this? <laughs> there ain't no jogging. Come on now, Pastor might be old, but I ain't that old. 
I was born at night, but it wasn't last night. Come on here now. I know when you're jiggling and when you're jogging. <laughs> Come on, somebody give God the praise up in here. Uh, Hallelujah. Right. Despises the good. All you got to do is do good for people to hate you. That's all you got to do. Listen, now, come on. I wish I had a witness in there. All you got to do is start doing good, Jonathan, and some people going to hate you. That's all you got to do. That's all. You ain't got to do nothing wrong. Just do something good. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, just do something good. I ain't lying. You'll find out. Traders, you with me today? The hell with me tomorrow? Can I preach in here? Can I get a witness in here? The day you're my friend, the more you're my enemy. What in the world is going on? We're living in no days. Right. Uh -huh. Can I get an amen? Amen. amen. Right. Hardy, love is a pleasure. Uh -huh. Love is a pleasure. Right. I ain't never seen people got so many different pleasures in their lives. Uh -huh. All right. All right. Got the nerve to call the nasty stuff guilty pleasures. Come on now. If you're feeling guilty, it ought not be a pleasure. Is anybody in the same world I'm in? I'm trying to figure out what the world they talking about. Guilty pleasure? If I'm feeling guilty, how is that a pleasure? If I'm guilty, mother, I ain't supposed to be happy about it. Come on, somebody. We live in a day that people are happy when they guilty. What the world is going on around here, Pastor? Right. And call wrong, right, right, wrong. That's what the Bible says. Right, yeah. uh -huh. And they'll love everything but God. Right. Can I get a witness? Amen. Let it die. Oh, the woman in the store yesterday said, I killed somebody with my dogs. I, I love my dogs. Anybody look at my dogs wrong, I'm going to have a problem because I love my dogs. I kiss them. They sleep with me. They got the whole house. I wish somebody would come over there. I said, lady, I said, say, lady the dogs. You don't forget. You ever met people that forgot that there's a dog? And then they have a form of godliness, but the now the power thereof, amen. I ain't never seen people always talking about God, but don't never go to church. Come on, I wish I had a witness. I always talking about Jesus. I always talking about the Lord. When you say, oh, I love the Lord, I love the Lord. When the last time you met you, I don't go to church no more. <laughs> see, I ain't never seen such mess in my whole entire life. And it let me know that we are living in the last days. They got a form of godliness, but deny their power down. And my Bible tell me for these type of people, 2 Timothy chapter 3 said, I'm supposed to turn away. Since the Antichrist will appear during a time of religious apostasy. If I've ever seen people playing with God, it's playing with God today. Since when I start seeing people do yoga in God's house, I know darn well something ain't right. Somebody, somebody lost their mind. Ain't no way in the world you probably be bending backwards in all these different positions, and you're in a position of the lotus, and you're in a position of uh, the praying madness, and all that up in the church, all stretching back. No, man. Then Deacon Foot then fell out his mouth, all that bending you doing. What is going on in the world today? What's going on in the house of God? Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor. No, look at him. Don't be ashamed. Look at him right in the face. Say, neighbor, holiness is still right. And give God the glory if you said it. Look at your other neighbor and say, I ain't scared of you. Praise God. I want you to realize something, that visible religion will turn away from the word of God. I've never seen so many people turn away from the word of God in my life. There will be, they'll be under the umbrella of Christianity, but they're going to be far from it. Far from it. Far from it. I never forget a time I was 
taking care of some business, and I went up somewhere. It's supposed to be a Christian organization, and I walk in the door, and I get ready to take care of some business, and a young lady jumped up, had a halter top on, hot pants, booty hanging out, <laughs> breast bouncing. I turned around and said, let me get up out of here, baby, because this ain't God's <laughs> business no more. Can I get a witness? Something done changed around here. But let me tell you something. I don't care if the whole world changed. Don't you change. Come on, give God the glory. Don't you go backwards. Come on, somebody. Somebody got to stand for the Lord. If you stand for the Lord and you believe in real church, I want you to get on your feet and give God the glory and say, God, if you need anybody, send me, God. I'll live for you. I'm going to live holy until I die. Give somebody a high five and say, I love holiness. Yes, Lord. Amen, amen. And if holiness is wrong, I ain't never going to be right. Y'all y'all be seated. Because when you love God, you believe in the virgin birth. You don't question it. You believe that the Bible is a true word of God. You don't question that. So today we have some that, that believe that the Bible is, is not all true. And how in the world you belong to God and you don't believe that the Bible is true? Well, let me tell you some things that you better do. Because, you know, some of y'all, you get upset when you hear the word back. Don't nobody tell me what I better do. I'm about to lose it. Well, let me tell you something. I want you to get it back. You better believe that God sent his only begotten son, Jesus Christ. You better believe that. Are you listening to me? You better believe that Jesus was the only begotten Son of God. Look at your neighbor and say, you better believe that. You better believe in the resurrection of Jesus Christ. You better believe that. And above everything, you better believe that he's coming back. Somebody give God the glory there because he's coming back. We're in the days of the falling away. We got people in the church right now that don't even believe that he died and was resurrected. Ain't that something? We got people today that are voting on issues in God's house, and you know as well as I do that God hates it. Why are we voting on it? Why are churches voting on stuff that you know is written in this B-I-B-L-E that you ain't supposed to do it? I dare you to try to take a vote. Or something you know God hate. Uh -huh. Who do you think you are? Uh -huh. He created you. You didn't create him. Can I get a witness in here? Yeah. It's a right way. It's a wrong way. And Mother Virginia, it's a Bible way. And I declare to the day I die, I want to do things the Bible way. Hallelujah. Praise God. I want to follow him till I die. I don't know who I'm talking to, but some of y'all been knowing God a mighty long time. And I heard Jackie tell me it had to be 10 years ago. I don't believe he brought me this far, but leave me now. Somebody give God the glory and give God the praise because I believe he's alive and well. And if you don't believe me, he's right here inside of me. Hallelujah. Yeah, you better tell somebody, listen, you about to hold my mule because I'm about to give him some glory up in here. You don't know what God done done for me. You don't know how far he done brought me. You don't know how he turned things around and set my feet on solid ground. You don't know when I was in the hospital with nobody but me and Jesus. And it was a long night and a mighty long day. But I'm here to tell you, he turned things around and set my feet on solid ground. I wish I had three people in here that don't need no music that can praise God just because he's just there. Good. Hallelujah, praise God. Hallelujah, praise God. You don't know where I've been. You don't know what I've been through. But I tell you, you can look at me now and know God was with me because I'm still here. Is anybody, oh God, oh my God. Hallelujah, praise God. Somebody say, Pastor, I know what you're talking about. Yes, Lord, because he's still a rock in a weary land. I don't care what nobody say. I'm in love with the black. I'm in love with the white. And 
if you don't look out, I'm going to tell you I'm in love with the red letters too. I'm in love with the book. Uh -huh. Hallelujah. Uh huh. Yeah, that's right. I love them like that. Don't care if don't nobody stand up. Don't care if ain't no piano playing. Don't care if it ain't no shot. I shout all by myself then. I run up and down the street getting prayer because I realize something. I'm only here by the grace of God. Come on here, y'all. I'm here by the grace of God. I wish I had a witness. Some of y'all should have been dead a long time ago. But God, oh my God, who am I talking to? Yeah. Ain't he all right? Ain't he all right? Is he all right? Say yeah. He's all right. Yeah, Revelation 6 and 2. To be a man of great popularity. Yeah. He'll be given a crown. Mm -hmm. The world will embrace him. Say he's a godsend. <laughs> Ain't that something? You know, you misunderstand when you don't understand. Can I get a witness? When you ain't in the word, come on here, somebody. You'll believe everything and you'll fall for everything. But when you're in the word, sometimes you're going to say, I never seen that in the word. Ah, that don't sound right. Something about what you're saying don't sound like my Jesus. Can I get a witness? I'm not going to agree with everything that everybody say. I'm not an amen man. I don't sit up and say amen if I don't feel it in my spirit. And it don't sound like God. Uh -huh. All right. say so, say so. My Bible tells me that he's going to have a bow, uh -huh. fake bow. He's going to be riding a white horse. Uh -huh. And people are going to think that it's him. But he's going to have a bow, old phony bow. Hallelujah, praise God. And people are going to think it's God. But let me tell you something, it ain't going to be God. My Bible tells me, and he had a crown and went forth conquering and to conquer. Listen, how is the Antichrist able to go forth and conquer and to be conquered? Because he's conquering people that don't know the word. That's why. Huh? Yeah. See, baby, they ain't got it up here. He said, with all you're getting, you better get understanding. He said, wisdom is a principal thing. Let me tell you something. The devil ain't fooling nobody that God ain't going to make no fool out of Because you know the word. Can I get a witness? Hallelujah. Praise God. If he, listen, let me tell you something. If it walk like a duck, it quack like a duck, it's in the water like a duck. I'm here to tell you something out there. It's a duck quack quack. I say preach, Pastor. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Uh -huh. Second Thessalonians chapter 2, uh -huh. verse 3 to said, Let no man deceive you. Uh -huh. Did you hear that? Right. By any means. Uh -huh. For the day shall not come except there come a falling away first. And that man of sin be revealed, the son of perdition. What do you mean by perdition? He's the only one that's ever been prejudged. Uh -huh, uh -huh. That means that your mama, your daddy, your sister, your brother, your cousin, not in a hole in the ground. After from the body, is present with the Lord. And ain't nobody dead sitting in hell. You know how I know? Because the Bible said when Jesus come back, he's coming back to judge the living and the dead. So how can they be in hell if they ain't been judged yet? I wish I had some Bible readers up here say some stuff don't make no sense, Pastor. Uh -huh, right. uh -huh. Amen. Who opposes and exalteth himself above all that is called God yeah, or that is worship uh -huh. so that he as God sitteth in the temple of God showing himself that he is God. See, the word antichrist, it doesn't mean against Christ. It means instead of Christ. And when he sit in the place he ought not be, then the place he ought not be is in the house of God. Can I get a witness? 
Honey, when you see that abomination of desolation sitting in the house of God claiming to be God, let me tell you something. When that Euphrates River dries up and they able to cross over, the Euphrates River is a dividing line between God's people and the devil's people. And when that line is drawn up, he's going to walk right over. Sit down and be worshipped. But ain't that what he always wanted to do? He's going to send them to the mountains. Sit in the seat of God. Going to be worshipped. Satan was over the worship. Over the praise. And he got carried away. He wanted the worship that only belonged to God. He wanted for himself. So what happened, saints? He took a third of the angels, cast them down. They landed right here on this earth that you're standing on right here right now. Hallelujah, praise God. And when we teach about the three earth ages and you found out on that line that there was a whole world that was here before this one was even here. That's what sound doctrine do for you. You understand what he means by the capture ball, the overthrow of Satan. Come on here, somebody. And you realize that the devil had a plan, but God got a better plan. Give God the glory in here. Give God the praise. Tell your neighbors that God got a plan, and I'm included. Hallelujah. Pray God. He ain't going to leave me out. In 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, verse 5, said, Remember ye not that when I was yet with you, told you these things. And now ye know what withholdeth that it might be revealed in time. See, when you went back there in Daniel chapter 8 and you saw that, oh man, oh God. When you saw Antiochus Epiphany, and you saw him, how he came in, how he was a man, where he came from the West. Hallelujah, praise God. And how he was over the Jewish people and all the people that he killed. It was a type of the Antichrist. And let me tell you something. If Gabriel Tom said this is a prophecy for the end time, you better believe that the end is coming. Somebody give God the praise. Somebody give God the glory. Somebody say thank you. Somebody say hallelujah. Somebody say thank you, God. I don't know who I'm talking to, but if you believe the word of God, get on your feet and give God the glory and give God the praise because it's going down just like the Bible says. Saying, it's going down. Hallelujah. Praise God. Y'all right. yeah, sit, sit, In verse 7, 2 Thessalonians chapter 7. Good morning, Mother Mary. Amen. And faith from our Philadelphia church have arrived. For the mystery of iniquity doeth already work. See, I want you to realize something that the mystery of iniquity. Mother Virginia is already working. See, Mary, the problem with not teaching the book is that you skip over some of the most important things, Steve. See? Because as it said it was in the days of Noah, they were eating, they were drinking, partying all you got to do is cut on your TV and you see that these are the days of the party people party people that's all you see you think life is a party you think life is a game People married and getting married and marrying this one two three wives and four five in the house and all this stuff we live in a day well, people done forgot that the word of God is true and the end is going to be exactly the way God said it's going to end. So we don't do ourselves a favor not opening up this book. You're doing yourself a great hindrance. I want you to realize something. That you need to know what consummates the end of this age. 
because if the mystery of iniquity is already working, there might be somewhere in this world right now that Antichrist is waiting. Now, I remember some of y'all don't remember Henry Kissinger. They used to think that Henry Kissinger was the Antichrist. They've had quite a few people that they tagged that Antichrist. But let me tell you something. None of them have been the devil's man. Can I get a witness? Somebody say amen. Because when the devil's man get on the scene, it will be a Cadillac in every driveway, a chicken in every pot, everybody has gold, everybody has silver, everybody has fine shoes, fine clothes, everything. It's going to be a party like you ain't never seen before. But the only thing is, in the midst of that party, you better believe it's some writing that ain't got to be on the wall. It's some writing that's in this book. Can I get a witness? That said when Jesus comes, he's going to destroy him with the brightness of his coming. Somebody say amen. And even though you might have loved Superman and the Bible said that Superman was faster than a speeding bullet, more powerful than a locomotive, could leap all buildings with a single bell, ain't nobody better than my Jesus. Give God the glory in here. Give God the praise. Hallelujah, give him some love. In Revelation 19, verse 20 said, the Antichrist is going to enter into the lake of fire. Whew. Are y'all listening to what I'm trying to tell you? Satan Superman. Verse 25 said, and Daniel said that he will be beaten without hands. That means that our God, the Lord God Almighty, is going to destroy that Antichrist, and he's going to be defeated. But listen, let me tell you, he ain't going to be defeated by man. He's going to be defeated by the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Because he is the undisputed champion of the world. Come on, somebody. Give your Jesus the glory. Give him the praise. Give him the honor. And let everybody know, ain't nobody bad like my Jesus. He'll be supernaturally defeated. And that Antichrist is going to go into the lake of fire. And after a thousand years, not only the Antichrist, who got his power from Satan, is going to be in the lake of fire. Guess what? That old raggedy Satan is going to be right there in the fire with him. Somebody say amen. And guess what we're going to be doing? We're going to be praising, and we're going to be going on, and we're going to be giving God the glory because we're going to be here, and it ain't going to be no more lying, no stealing, no cheating, no killing, no murdering. How Hallelujah, praise God. It's going to be a paradise. Give God the glory. Amen. So in spite of man's ability, in spite of his power, in spite of his greatness, in spite of that he received the worship in spite of his vast rule of this world he still gets defeated somebody give God the glory I want you to realize that he was just a pawn in the hands of God can I get a witness and let me show you how God can use the enemy to his advantage. We was in Daniel chapter 8. And you seen that Babylon was overcome by the Medes and the Persians, which was represented by the ram. And then you saw this goat come from the west with a horn. The goat hit the ram and destroyed it and killed it. But then after Alexander the Great died, who was represented as that goat, the Bible said four horns came up out of that goat. And one was Antiochus Epiphany, who killed all the Jews and desecrated the temple of God. 
But I want you to realize something. Antiochus Epiphany wanted to fill the whole world and make them speak the Greek language. That was his goal. That everybody would speak the same language. And because of him conquering and everybody speaking the same language, listen to me, the day of Pentecost came. <laughs> Come on here, somebody. And since majority of everybody spoke the same language, that when he got up and said, repent, be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus for the remission of your sins, and you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost, they understood in their languages, and they understood upon the earth, and God used, that. come on here now, those Greek people that give us a language where we can all understand, and people got saved all over the place. And I want you to realize something. God going to use that antichrist too. Can I get a witness? Somebody say amen. Now, I don't know about you. I don't want nothing fake. I don't want no fake. Janice, I don't want no fake eggs on my plate. Are oh, you listening to them? I don't want no fake chicken. Come on here, somebody. I don't want no fake sheets on my bed. I do not like polyester. Can I get a witness? And I don't want no fake wife either. Can I get a witness? Come on here, somebody. Y'all don't mind. I'm just talking to y'all. I got to have something real. Yeah. I, darn, I like to put my arms around. So I don't know about some of y'all brothers in here. But I like it real. Don't play with me. Amen. And I'm here to tell you today. Look at Steve. He's smiling about that. He's like, <laughs> call your wife on you. <laughs> but I want y'all to realize something. That when you got the real deal, all right, all right. you don't have to worry about nothing fake. Come on, somebody say amen. No matter what he say, no matter what he do, I ain't got nothing to do with you. Because if you got Jesus, it don't get no more realer than that. Can I get a witness at that? I wish I had three people that could just wave their hand and say, give me the real thing, Pastor. That's why I go to this church, because I want the real thing. Don't get me all hyped up and praise and run around, and I don't even know what you're talking about. I don't want to hear no hi, hi, hey, hey, no, 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 we don't want that. Tell me some words I can understand so I can put it together and I can live that thing. I'm trying to walk this thing out, amen. I can't walk out of hey, 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 I can't walk that out. Come on here, somebody. I, I know that sounds strange to some of y'all, because you've been an already then had 20 minutes of the high, high, hey, hey, he, he, ha, ha, y'all don't hear me. <laughs> but I'm here to tell you this. When you got the real deal, fake stuff don't work no more. Can I get a witness? Amen. Come on now. You know, they used to have this commercial when I was growing up. I'm almost done. Is it real? Is it Memorex? That might work for a tape, but don't work for life. Can I get a witness? Amen. Because life will teach you some lessons real quick. Amen. And if you done live long enough, I know what's real, and I know what ain't real, and I know this Jesus that I serve is real because he's real deep down in my heart. I wish I had a witness in here that could get on your feet and give God the praise and thank God because he's real down in my heart. Well, saints, uh, I'm at the end of the service here. At this time, I know our musicians be tearing the house up. But let me tell you something. I still got something real over here. Praise God. Now, you want some entertainment, come back next week. But this week, you got nothing but the word. Clap your hands and say amen. Praise God.